Hello. How are you? I'm okay, thank you. What about you? I'm good. I'm in Canada today. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Very cold, as you can see. <laughs> okay. No, he, here the the weather is hot. Good, it's as warm. it should be. Hmm. Do you miss Mexico? Yes, of course. I can't wait to go back. I miss the food. I miss the lifestyle. I okay. yeah, it's yeah, I miss Mexico. <laughs> okay, that's good. Um this is is this your normal schedule? I, I don't remember. Usually we talk uh after 6 p.m. I know, actually, you're quite early. Um, yes, I try to mimic my same schedule I had in Mexico, but I took off. Saturdays, I believe. Yeah. So now I work Tuesdays to Friday. Okay. No, Tuesday to Saturday. And then Sunday, Monday, I'm going to have off. And then, yeah, whenever I need another day off. Ah, okay. Your Sunday. No yeah. Work. Just Sunday and Monday are and Monday. no classes. Yeah. No classes. What day is uh, today? Is Thursday? No. Today's Tuesday. Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Okay. Yeah, today I will go to my parents' house mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for three, three days. I will back on Friday. Oh my gosh, so you're going to return on Friday? I will return on Friday, yeah. Yes, instead of go back. But why are you going go with your wife and everything? Go a bit. Your wife and your whole family, your dogs, your wife, you guys No, are all just dogs? only me. Just me. Oh, okay. Okay. We need to do some things there. And I will go for that and I will return on Friday. Just three days. Good. Okay, that's a short trip. Are you excited? Do you like visiting your parents? More or less. Um, More for or less, my yeah. parents, yes. For my, for my parents, yes. But a little bit because it's a, it's a hard yeah, uh, travel is uh, how you say yeah hard, como pesado. It's difficult. Uh, difficult, tiring, tiring. Travel. Yes, tiring. Mm -hmm. How are you traveling? You're driving. No, I will take a bus mm. for twelve hours. Oh my gosh! Where do your <laughs> parents live? Where do they live? In the center, of Mexico. Okay, right in the middle um, of Mexico. Okay. In the middle, yeah, in the middle. And we are living in, in the north, very close to okay. Texas. Okay, so you're close to America and they're dead center. Okay, so yeah, that's a long drive. There's no like flights. You don't want to take like a short flight. I can take a flight, but it's almost the same in the number of hours because I have. The, the airport is very close to my house here. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, 15 or 90 minutes. 15 or okay, okay. Uh, by car, yeah, on the road. And I, you need, you, you know, you need to stay two, two hours before the fly. Uh, 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 the, the time approximately is it a word two hours yeah approximately two hours before an international flight for domestic it's still two hours in the same country. no 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 I, I mean you need to stay to the two two hours before the flight yes. before the plane okay and um, in the plane you need to stay just uh, maybe for one and a uh, 15 minutes okay okay Okay, and the city that the where I need to go is Tampico. Tampico, and after in Tampico, I need to take a bus to Huacutla. It's my hometown for four hours, four more hours. Okay. So okay. it's almost the same. Yeah, and it's more comfortable to just get on one bus and go. Just one bus. Yeah. So okay, I, that makes sense. Yeah, I take the bus at night. And we travel all the night. And yesterday, I will be, will wake up in my hometown. And tomorrow, thing? and the tomorrow. next day. Yeah, the next day, tomorrow. Yeah, I'll wake up. Oh yeah, you're leaving tonight. Ah no 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 no. Uh, yeah, I leave 
tonight. I live tonight. Okay. And yesterday, no, tomorrow I will stay there. Good. Okay, so it's not that bad. You can sleep, hopefully, on the bus. Can you I sleep? try. I yeah. try. Because it's not comfortable. <laughs> yeah, I know. Everyone thinks they can sleep on the plane and the bus and the train. Yeah, but you never do. Yeah. When the... When the... How do say? When the distance... Distance mm -hmm. is, is long... I prefer to use a plane, obviously. But I don't like to use planes, actually. Because, yes, uh, yeah. yeah. Where is the world when the, the plane is going to to the uh, to the earth again? Or, landing? You know, landing, or yeah. Or descending, yeah. Okay. Yeah, my ears, it's como se cierran, I have pain in my ears ear pain yeah Pop. we call it popping like your ears you can't hear really well like mm -hmm. the, it's like there's air suctioned out yeah i don't like it i don't like that actually only when you're landing it happens yeah only when you're landing yeah interesting have you tried like i don't know earplugs would that help because it's the air pressure changing yeah i sometimes i use uh you said earplugs Earplugs, yeah. Okay, it's different um, to um, headphones. Yeah, earplugs are just like squishy, squishy plastic stuff, and you push in your ears to block out noise. Okay, the last time I used a heat, heat plug, no, ear plug. Earplugs, yeah. Earplug, sorry, earplug. Yeah, I used uh, earplugs. And uh, earplugs or earplug? Ear, like ear, and then plugs. plugs. Okay. Yeah. It was uh, it was better than previous times. Good. Yeah, but I don't like. <laughs> All right. Okay. I thought you were gonna say you're like scared or something, but you just don't. You have pain. That's honestly more understandable. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes when when next is, uh, what is the word for tur turbulencia in English? Turbulence. In words, turbulence, yeah. When, when the plane yeah, is is crossing in turbulence, is it makes sense? Is going it's passing? through. Yeah, passing through is good too. Okay, it's passing through. Yeah. A través, passing through turbulence. Yeah, I don't like that sense. Or sense, sense sensation. How is it? Yeah, I don't like that sensation or that feeling. Sensation. That feeling, yeah. I agree. I I'm better at it. I used to be really scared of takeoff. I think it's really, really, really loud. I hate really loud sounds. Mm -hmm. And takeoff is so loud. And then then you get used to the noise. It's all loud after a while. But I hate takeoff. And turbulence, I don't know. I think it's funny. I used to be scared, okay. but now I don't know why I think it's funny. I'm like, oh my God, we're shaking in the air. Like, but, well, how is the air shaking us? <laughs> uh, okay. But it's not funny when the plane uh, makes this this move, movement. When no, see, yeah. Oh, no. no. When it's like this, maybe. Yeah, like but that. But when yeah. it's... No, it's not funny. That's like, whoa, what's mm -hmm. going on? Like, exactly. he's drunk in the cab. Yeah, I agree. I only go like this. I've never had a... Only when we're descending, you feel it. Like, okay. But I, we're descending. I've never had that strong turbulence, fortunately. Yeah, when the plane is uh, elevating. Mm -hmm. Okay, and in one part of the flying, need to... To do this, when well, it's it's elevating like this, mm -hmm. but in one in one time, oh. in some moment they need to, so, yeah, um, yeah, straighten it's, out. Yeah, exactly. It's it's not funny as well because you. Oh my gosh! Way. I didn't mm. notice that. I've never <laughs> even felt that. And I think elevating works, but I just thought ascend is better for airplane and stairs. So when the plane is ascending, 
the mm-hmm. nose has to dip down to flatten out. I've never felt that. I never felt that ever. You never. Could you repeat that word, please? I've never felt that. Felt okay. Mm-hmm. Maybe it depends the pilot or what yeah. do you do? pilot pilot Pi- pilot 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 the pilot yeah maybe I don't know maybe yeah maybe they know I'm on the plane so they fly extra good yeah <laughs> because we felt that sense uh, in that sensation in mm-hmm. the go and back. On the way there and on the way back. On the way there? Could you repeat that phrase? On the way there and on the way back. On the way there and on the way back? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. On the way there. The ida y vuelta. The porta? No, in Spanish it's like the ida, on the way there. The ida and the ida vuelta on the okay. way back. Ida, Good. ida y vuelta. Ida a porta. Okay, porta runs your door. Porta's no, it's door. Vuelta. 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 I, I will try for you. Good. <laughs> oh, ida a vuelta with a V. Vuelta. Yeah. In Spanish, the the A sounds like E. Okay, Volti. The A sounds like E, so it'll be Volti. No, it's uh, okay. It's, it, you need to spell the words. It's E D A I Y V. E D A Y is Y. But sounds like E. The sound of Y is E. Okay, Y. I thought it was A. Yes, the Y is E, and two L's is Y. So I've made those connections. I still have to study the sounds. I haven't studied the phonics. Maybe I'll do that today. I have to do something today. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, it's ida y vuelta. Vuelta. Ida y vuelta. Vuelta. V- ah, vuelta. <laughs> I can't do the V part. Vuelta. <laughs> yeah. Before you said door, but it's puerta with P. Puerta, yeah. Vuelta, Puerta, yes, Puerta. Puerta, yeah. Vuelta is is other thing when you like you said on and on the way back. And on the way back, yes. Okay, ida y vuelta. Exactly. Thank you. Gracias. <laughs> <laughs> okay, finally. Okay. Good Spanish lesson in your English lesson. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. So your trip for your parents, do you make it not that often since it's so far? Can you repeat again more slowly, please? Of course. Your trip to your parents, mm-hmm. you don't do it often because they're so far when i was single yeah i used to go a lot of times maybe five or six times a year but since i i married <laughs> i we go just sometimes just sometimes maybe in this year this is my uh third my third trip Okay. Okay. So you've passed it, basically. This is normal. You have a wife. Are they going to come down when she has the baby? Or will you guys bring the baby to them? I'm sure they want to see it. We don't know. We don't know because my my parents, they have um, their, their life there. So yeah. they, they need their own things to do there. But probably my mother and my father they will they will be stay here for some some days when the mm-hmm. baby born. Yes, when the baby is born. Is born when the baby is born. Uh-huh. My mother's in law maybe she will stay here for two months. That's 
Very good. And help. Yeah, that's good. I'm sure your wife will appreciate the help. Mm -hmm. It's her first baby. That would be really nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is, are, you ask, and, mm -hmm. are you asking me asking something? No, I'm just okay. thinking. I'm just, just uh, no, I'm just thinking that's a two months is a long time, but I'm like, oh, it's a baby. Like, obviously, mm -hmm. just for it's the baby. Go very fast. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and that my... would be. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Sorry. No, it's okay. I was just going to ask, will that be the first time your parents have come down? Like they've never come down before? No, my mother, she knows my previous house because when I was single, I bought a house. But uh, now we, we bought a, another house. Yeah, uh -huh. But my mother, she knows the previous house. But this house, no. Okay. So it'll be nice for her to see the house too. I'm sure it'll be exciting. Probably. <laughs> Oh my gosh, are you nervous? No, actually, no. Good. Yeah, you don't even have to do the hard work. Actually, you have to do the hardest job. You have to support the person doing the worst part. I feel like that's a lot of pressure sometimes. Yes, sometimes it's, it's a little like you said. Mm -hmm. But yeah, my, my parent, my father actually, um, they he wants to 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 come here, mm -hmm. but maybe he's waiting like a special um, time moment. And the next year it could be um, that time. All right. Are your parents retired or do they still work? No, my father he was a teacher. Mm -hmm. Or professor. Professor is when they are uh, teaching in at or at the university. Yes. Now he he was a teacher. Okay. <laughs> he was a teacher. he was a teacher, but he's retired. Okay, so they're retired. Okay, that's good. So they have they can go on their own time whenever mm -hmm. they can. Exactly. All right. That's my good. my mother she is still working because she's how old is the work for when. When the woman works just in the house. Like a housewife? Housewife. Yeah. She's a housewife and she always have work. Oh, I'm glad you said it like that. You're like, my mom's still working. She's still keeping the house together. That's very true. It's a hard, it's, I think the housewife work or job is the most hard work in the world because you you always is are you always is como se dice Estás, you are you always are working or you yes. always is working hardest. you're always okay. working and then hard the most working. hard is the hardest yes hardest. yes okay most hard okay yes don't say most hard don't Just say, say most hard. hard say hardest, hardest. <laughs> okay yes and I agree. I think they do housewives and house husbands. Honestly, my grandpa is a house husband. He's been okay. retired since I've been, ever since I've known him, I've never known. He worked for 40 years. He's just like 20 years older than my grandma. So he retired, you know, mm -hmm. earlier. So my whole life he's been retired and he's been a house husband. And I've always been like, used to that so when i got older and people said housewife i was like what are you talking about like <laughs> usually the man stays home <laughs> but it's not true yeah usually it's the woman and it is very difficult and i think because of my grandpa i know i don't want to do it <laughs> i don't want to be a complete housewife i want to be a house owner and i think everyone who owns a house has certain duties and I'll share that. If someone wants to live with me, they have to do half. They have to do half. And then I can do half. And then we can both keep working. But if I go home and I work and like raise kids, yeah, then I'm going to focus on the kids and they'll have to hire somebody to do the cleaning. I don't want to raise kids, clean, and cook. That's too much. It's too much. It's too me. much. It's too much. It's too much. <laughs> I did it as a kid. I had to do the, I had to be like, we we're all like our own moms as kids. And it was a lot of work, so I don't want to do that again. <laughs> okay. Do you like 
to retire or how you say when you will go no when when you will be older mm -hmm. do you like to take a break uh, after a special age i mean i feel like i'm incorporating retirement lifestyle now i want to live a life that i'd want to live forever whether i'm mm -hmm. 60 or 16 so i like to travel and work i could do this when i'm 60 and they like old teachers a lot people are like oh experience so i could do this forever i think but <laughs> eventually i want to have children and i want to uh -huh. like raise my children i want that to be my only job and then when i'm older older like a grandma yeah i want to hang out with my grandkids and like focus on my just my family so that's what i want in the future future is your is your boyfriend mexican yes he's mexican okay did you met here in mexico yes we met yes, in yeah did you, meet him met, in mexico? did you meet yeah did you meet him in mexico yes i did okay. he was actually my airbnb host he was like one of the first people Really? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I know everyone says that, but we didn't start dating until after I left the Airbnb. Like, we didn't talk for a little bit, and then we reconnected. He had luck. Oh, I had. Estuvo suerte. First, do you, do you know what's mean in English? No, what does it mean? Something suerte. Suerte. He was lucky. Yeah, we were both lucky, I guess. Yeah, but he's more lucky. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, he's very lucky because he didn't really care about me. And I was like, hello, you gonna take me to the beach again? And then he, he was like, oh, yeah, you still want to go? And I was like, yeah, of course. And then after that, every day he like messaged me. But for a while, it was like he didn't even like me. I was like, he doesn't even like me. Okay. But, yeah. <laughs> and he was lucky because you were thinking to move to other country. Yeah, you yeah, you're your right. Idea? You're right. It was meant to be. I was going to go to Vietnam. You're right. You're mm -hmm. right. But yes, he's very nice and very traditional Mexican. But I think he'd be a very nice partner in the future. I feel like he'd do half the job. I don't think he'd clean, but that's okay because he's bad at it. I remember I told you why not Mexico because your yeah. currency yeah you did uh, yeah how what is it, or, or, or the the value of your currency is better than mexico yes it's strong the yeah that's the best way to say it it's a good currency exchange rate for the american dollar and that was one of the reasons but honestly i really did pick mexico because it seemed like it fit every little thing i needed it's close to home it's a language i want to learn i want to learn spanish it has cultural and family ties my fam my dad's family is mexican and then yeah the food it's spicy food <laughs> so and the good weather the beaches it has a lot of pros yeah and since when you are here how how, how many times have you traveled to the u.s this is oh no zero i came zero. I, le i left from the u.s ah, and then, canada sorry yeah now i'm in canada this is my first and hopefully source, okay. only time for a while i didn't plan this my grandpa needed help so i came home of course but i didn't plan to leave mexico for at least six months so i'm six kind months. of sad wow. yeah at least six months no could you repeat that part i didn't plan to leave mexico for at least six months Okay. But it was only three months I stayed. Okay. I'm, I'm confused. So when you go to Mexico, you get a tourist visa and the mm -hmm. visa is six months. Okay. So I got there in June and I wanted to stay my full visa time, six months. Okay. Uh -huh. But my family in Canada needed help. So I left September. So okay. June, July, August. So I only stayed three months in Mexico, okay. not six. Okay, got it. I wish I could have stayed the full six before I came home. Okay, but would you like to live here for a long time? Yes, that's why I've been, I have to find a long-term visa. I don't want to work 
in a school, I decided I don't like the academies. They were going to give me a one year visa and it was in process. The okay. day I quit, my visa went through and they canceled it because I quit, right? So I'm thinking of how to get a long term visa. Maybe I'll um, join a non not for profit, like an NGO. If you work for the government, like for free, they usually give you a good visa. So I'm going to look for places I can volunteer for free that give me a visa. You can ask for the nationality maybe in, in a few years if you want. If I get that, I'm going to get it through marriage. I'll marry a Mexican and get a marriage you, status. Okay, you need to get a married. If I get married, yeah, that, if I get a Mexican citizenship, it'll be through marriage. Because if I get Mexican citizenship, I have to denounce my American citizenship. But if I marry, I can keep both. I can be Canadian, American, Mexican. Okay, well. All yeah, of America. <laughs> you can if you have a child as well. Yes, I have a child definitely in Canada. And then I'll give them my American birthright. And then they'll get their dad's Mexican birthright. So they'll have all three too. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so you have to think ahead. <laughs> okay. It's a good plan. It's a good plan, but yeah, I'm still just dating. He's very nice, but yeah, we're not getting married anytime soon. <laughs> okay. I don't remember how old are you. I'm 26. 26. Wow. Yeah. You're younger. How old did you think I was? Um. Maybe 20. Can you repeat me the, your age? 26? Yes, yes, 26. I'm going to be 27 in November, this November, 27. Okay. Mm, I was thinking in mm, 20, 24, maybe. <gasps> wow, thank you. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Definitely not 24. Um, that's good. Uh, my boyfriend thought I was 30 when we okay. met, so I think 24 is more accurate, but yeah, yeah, I'm 27, almost old. I feel old. I feel like lots of people are married and have kids, but lots of people are also not. The world is changing. When your boyfriend, um, he, he was four, four years, um, you was bor born? No. ¿Cómo estabas naciendo? When my boyfriend was four years, like I had a three-year boyfriend. No, no. When your boyfriend has, no. Tenía, no, is, no, has, it, what is it, the problem? It, it, was, it, no. Was. I, was. Cuando él tenía cuatro años, tú How estabas old naciendo. Is yeah, talking about years old. My old boyfriend, how old was he? One second. <laughs> yeah. When he was four years old, you were barely born. <laughs> how do you know how old my boyfriend is? <laughs> you said 30, right? My boyfriend, he's 40. Ah, 40. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a 13-year age difference. So, yeah, oh. when I was born, he was 13. Okay. I know, I know. It's actually crazy. That's why, yeah, I told you. He thought I was 30. Sure, he did. When we met, I knew he was older. I thought he was, like, 38, 36. And then he was, like, I'm 40. And I was, like, oh, well. I'm younger kind of than, late, than him. Yeah, lots of people are. <laughs> I call him old all the time. He knows he's very old. But it's okay. He's very young. What thing your family about it? Um, as long as he's nice, they don't really care. Okay. Like I said, my grandpa is 20 years older than my grandma. She's like wow. 70-something and he's 90. So, I mean, I guess, yeah. But I don't know. I'm not marrying him or anything. I'm just dating the guy. Yeah. Jeez. Uh, Jeez. <laughs> uh, but yeah, <laughs> they're like, my brother was like, oh my gosh, does he have kids? I was like, no. He's like, he could have kids. I was like, I know, but he doesn't. Yeah, I, I think it's normal. It's it's a good difference. Uh, yeah. 20, 20 years is maybe too much. But 
40, no, 14. 13. I feel like I'm older. If I was 16 or maybe younger, 22, I'd be like, yeah, it's weird. But I'm like almost 30, so I'm old too. <laughs> okay, I'll see you next time. Have fun at your parents. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.